Very good. <laughs> G'day folks, welcome to Fishing with Fuckface. How you going? This is our first episode of Filleting with Fuckface. Um, I posted a picture on Facebook a while back of some um, whiting fillets and a few blokes were interested in getting um, fish filleting lessons. Now, we do do fish filleting lessons, but they're very expensive. So we thought we'd put this little video together of these beautiful South Australian King George whiting that we caught and um, show you how we go. So if you'd like to come over. Um, all of our fish have been ice slurried, kept in ice overnight. Um, josh has got the scaler on the go there. This is our setup. We've got two wheelie bins, an old kitchen sink, a couple of cutting boards, some tea towel, old tea towel underneath to stop it slipping around. A brick, a hose, that's all you need really. So, with these whiting, the way I do it, it's similar to the way they do it in the fish shops. See the little line there, it runs down along the, the, the fillet there. Basically you just cut down there through the backbone, pull him out, you get to have a look at what's in the guts. You don't need that bit. When you're doing it, grab the fish, Swiping across the board, wipes all the slime and shit off, keeps everything nice and slippery. Might just see if my knife sharp first. A lot of blokes ask what sort of knives we use. So, you've probably all seen them around your granny's house. They're awesome. Most of the old blokes in all the fish shops around town have more than likely got one of them in their arsenal. They're great knives. The metal's sensational. They're hard to sharpen, but once you get them sharp, they stay sharp for a long time. So if you're wondering what's a good fish filleting knife, one of them. I personally like to use one of these. It's a geyser um, and they're available from Master Butchers down on, what's that road with all the hookers on it? <laughs> Hanson. Hanson Road. It's they're available from Hanson Road. <laughs> right, oh, here we go. The head's off. We'll start underneath the backbone, going through the rib cage. All the way through, open him up. Then on top. What you do is you just use your fingers, hold them flat on the fish, and you push down a little bit on the, the belly section, and you see how that opens it up. And then you just feel over the top of the bones with your knife and run it along. So now you've got a pair of Levi jeans. Didn't do that very well. Take that one out. All good. Now there is one more line of bones on these little fellas. It's in through there. You see the little V-bone in there? To get rid of them, cut that side of it and that side of it. Looking out. There you go, boneless fillets. Bone. Over the top. A little bit of pressure with your fingers on the belly, keeping them all out of the way of the sharp part of the knife. There you go, nice, close, but nice clean backbone. Take them ones out. So you put the knife, the tip of the knife on the board and you just use it to sort of scoop out the ribs. Thanks Josh. <laughs> there you go, done. I'll catch you later. That was quick. <laughs> and now the scarlet goes and washes the boat. Look at that for a pearl. One I got. Yep, that's a nice fish. And then we caught these local off Glenelg. So sometimes the right time of year in the right place, it's not too bad. Off with his head. Look at him, he's full of cockles. What's that shit? No idea. Only cockles on there. So there you go. What you get for using a hand, uh, fishing rod, not a hand line. Under.
over, open them up, over the ribs, and voila. That is a tasty looking piece of fish. So there you go folks, that's our first episode of filleting with fuckface. You can see we've got a nice big bowl there of fresh King George Whiting fillets. They're going to get crumb battered and eaten the fuck out of it's uh, been a pleasure having your company tonight. Um, you can catch us on YouTube, and don't forget to stay hydrated. Um, catch us on YouTube at Fishing with Fuckface, and uh, have a great day.